CFS Quick Draw. There are four ways to input a job in CFS. One of these is through the Quick Draw program. Quick Draw is a job input program only available to customers on the current version of CFS. On the main menu, click the Quick Draw icon. The program will prompt you to enter in your customer's information, or you can search for them if they have already been saved to contacts. To begin a layout, click where you want your first stretch to begin and drag your mouse to the end of that stretch. You will typically want to start on one side of the fence and work your way around to the other side. There's no need to worry about drawing a perfect line because the program will straighten it for you automatically. To continue a line of fence, I'll click on the ending point of my previous stretch and drag my mouse to the next ending point. This short stretch will be for a double gate. Gates need to be entered as stretches of their own, and a gate can never be entered as a tie-on to an existing post at the end of your job layout. To avoid this problem, you can either start your drawing with the gate, or draw the layout so that the gate is in the middle of your job input. I'll create a third, a fourth, and a fifth stretch, it doesn't matter if my drawing is to scale or not. When I apply my scaling, the image will correct itself. On the right hand side, you'll see a box detailing all of the stretches in our job layout. Now I'll customize the stretches and add lengths. On the right, click on the stretch that you'd like to edit. The one you've selected will be highlighted red in the drawing. Type in the length of the stretch and press enter. Or you can click on the tape measure in the lower right hand corner and enter your dimensions there. Once you press enter, you'll automatically move to the next stretch in the job layout. Now that all of my stretches have lengths, I am going to turn this one into the double gate. Select the stretch. Click Gate in the Segment Control area and choose a double gate. I also want to change the direction of my gate swing, so I'm going to click the Swing Rotation button. If you forget to include a stretch for a gate, simply select an adjacent stretch on the right and click Divide Stretch. Now I can re-enter my stretch lengths and change this one to a single gate. Again, I'll change the swing rotation, and this time I'll adjust my latch post as well. Once all of my lengths and gates are entered, I'll click Apply Scale, and voila! The program will reconfigure the entire drawing to scale. You can adjust the size of the sketch by clicking on the zoom buttons. This is especially handy if you have additional details you want to add in the job sketch. Now I can move straight into one of the Scratch Builder programs. I want to estimate this as a chain link job, so I'll select the Chain Link Scratch Builder. I could save my quick draw sketch in case the customer wanted an alternate bid in a different material but I'll skip that for this demonstration. In my setup menus, I'm going to choose the galvanized framework setup. For speed and simplicity, I'm going to choose one of my standard specifications that I've created. We'll go over how to create standard specifications in another video. Here, I'll select the options for my gates, You'll notice that my job description has automatically been populated with all of the information from my Quick Draw layout. I can click Finished. Now that the job information has been entered through Quick Draw and the materials have been chosen in a Scratch Builder, the program will create a sketch of the job layout and multiple reports. Your entire job has been quickly entered into the CFS program via Quick Draw and you're ready to print your customer proposal. 
For more information on QuickDraw, please reference your CFS user manual.